My name is Danny Warsnot from the band Attack Attack, and this video is going to be about tattoos, or more specifically, my tattoos. You know, those things your parents tell you will look terrible when you're 80? Well, jokes on them, all of me is gonna look terrible when I'm 80. Ah, ah, ah. And since I only have a whopping three tattoos total, uh, this video might be kind of short, but I'm gonna try and give you as much info on the tats, how much they cost, uh, what they mean to me, and which ones are my favorite. So here we go. So I guess I have to take my wings off for this. I don't even know why I put them on. So I got my very first tattoo uh, right around my 18th birthday. And I got it done by a nice lady at Bethesda Tattoo for around 200 bucks. And it's this guy. Um, it's upside down right now, but I guess it's, um, here, here's, here's a better view. It's a big striped balloon uh, with an anchor at the bottom of it, and it gets huge when I flex. And this tattoo is actually album art for one of Modest Mouse's newer albums called We Were Dead Before the Ship Even Sank. Not because I really enjoyed that album, although I really liked it, but as far as Modest Mouse albums, it's not one of my favorites. Firstly, I just really liked the way the logo looked on my arm, and secondly, Modest Mouse was kind of the band that got me into music in general. They were, they were kind of the first band that I really linked on to and really like kind of obsessed over. So to me this tattoo is less of a band logo and more of a symbol of how I got into music. All right, so my second tattoo is a pretty big one. I got it a couple years ago at a place called Tattoo Paradise in Rockville, Maryland. I can't remember the name of the artist, but she was really sweet. The tattoo costs around 800 bucks. And this tattoo is pretty much the Milky Way galaxy on my shoulder. Um, and then it kind of goes all the way down to my pec. Um, into a black hole. Gotta take off my shirt, hope that's okay. So it's the blue Milky Way galaxy getting eaten up by a black hole that totally doesn't look like a vagina. And also a pretty neat little detail that I put on there that no one really notices is there's a little star right there on the galaxy, it's just a little white star. And that supposedly is where we are, or our solar system in the Milky Way galaxy. Now this tattoo kind of represents my existential points of view, because sometimes you just need to be reminded that you're a little speck in Nowheresville. And also another symbolic reference to my galaxy slash black hole tattoo is the black hole is right over my heart, meaning my heart is a black hole. So emo. And my third and most recent tattoo is kind of an abstract portrait of my cat, which is kind of like a mini sleeve all the way down my right arm. I wrote a song called Little Panther on one of my older albums about this cat uh, named Midnight, and it's pretty much about how one day he just kind of went missing, and we have no idea where he went, we never found him, um, so I thought it'd be really cool to get a little memorial tattoo, although it's not so little. And I definitely didn't want to go cheap on this tattoo, so I got it done by an artist named Ivana. Um, she's based out of, I think, France or somewhere in Europe. Um, she's currently in LA, though she does tattoo tours and lots of conventions all over the world. She's incredibly talented, and this entire tattoo was done pretty much freehand besides the main portion of the cat's face. It's kind of like a watercolor thing. I'm really happy that she got to put some of her art on me. And I caught her at one of her residencies in New York City. This tattoo costs me about $2,500 around there, plus tip. I acknowledge that this tattoo costs about as much as a crappy car, but I really wanted to do this tattoo correctly, and nice tattoos don't come cheap. And generally, rule of thumb for most of my tattoo ideas that I have swirling around in my head, um, I generally wait about a year or two, or even three years, um, and just kind of sit on the idea of the tattoo. And if I still like the idea, even after all that time, then I'll look for the perfect artist to get it done. But otherwise, I really don't like getting tattoos kind of spur of the moment. There's a lot of thought that goes into them because they're gonna be with you the rest of your life. Even if they look shitty when you're 80, they're still on you. You still have to look at them every day. I'd rather have really nice tattoos and a lot of really crappy spontaneous. Anyway, I'd love to hear which tattoos you guys have. And what do tattoos mean to you? Should they hold super deep meanings or should they just look cool. And make sure to like and subscribe and share with your friends if you have any. But until then, I'm Austin Carlisle from the band All Time Low, and I will see you next time.